Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Nightstorm here. Welcome back to Snowbreak Containment Zone. We have yet another video on the Horn of the Orca Sniper Rifle. But for good reason. Even though this is part 3, I have discovered something insane in my previous live stream. Without further ado, let's just dive right into it. Ready. Alright, here it is. So, I'm going to show you what it looks like normally, right? like this watch but this is normally right headshot minus on bullet okay i missed and this is with the new with my new tech now it's not 100 percent consistent as you can see right there but um you know yeah it's not 100 consistent right it's not easy to do but the tech is there now now what does this mean so i quit there so i save stamina right now what does this mean now, first of all, let's just do a quick discussion before I go any further. So that was the tech that I have discovered during my live stream. And essentially, what it is, is that just before I left click, like just before I snipe, I let go of the ADS. And with that split second timing, I'm essentially still no I'm essentially no longer in ADS mode and in standard shot the moment I shoot but the speed uh, the, the speed that was enough so that I was still kind of scoped but it was standard shot I think but yeah obviously I don't know how the I don't know how snow break containment zone is gonna like this but in my opinion, this is Sniper Tech. Mega Copium in the comment section below. But yeah, I I believe this is Sniper Tech because it's not easy to do, right? And let's go try this again. This could be dangerous. So I know it looks Excellent. similar, but you you let go of right click. At the same time, you press left click, and that's how you do the uh the Sniper Tech. For, for Horn of the Orca. Okay, I messed up. Like so. Nope. Actually, hold on a minute. Leave them to me. Here, Actually, no, this is fine. Really need it. Now, if you... Um, assuming... Uh, the game... Let's us off with this tech. Um, and you and you're finding it difficult on how to do this. Um, do let me know, and then I'll make a, a follow up video on on how to do it. I'll add like an extra thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll do one more so you can see it in action. Um, just. Just look at the uh, the remaining bullets that I have, and then see how sometimes it doesn't go down because of the sniper tech that I have discovered. Like so now, obviously, it's not it's not easy to do, right? To time it, so you might occasionally go down in bullets. And sometimes if they're too far away, you might not get the, the weak spot hit. As you can see, I'm I'm timing it wrong right now. Hold on. No. He's on duty. Okay. I mean but you get the gist of it, right? I right, hey hey. I'll try hard this time. Okay, never mind. Hold 
But yeah, um, I think that's it. Uh, I've pretty, I pretty much showed it enough times. Uh, I think early in the video I performed much better. But yeah, that's essentially the tech. Um, I guess a TLDR for the end of the video. You aim down sight, and just before you shoot, you let go of the aim down sight at the same moment that you shoot, and it'll count as a standard shot. And if it hits a weak spot, you get that bullet returned to you. In my opinion, this is a very fun mechanic, in my opinion. Um, technically speaking, it's most likely not what uh, Snowbreak Containment Zone intended. However, since it's a tech, you know, I want to side with keeping it in. But if you do decide to remove it, it is what it is. And... Um, Either way, I think it should be known because I think everyone that has Horn of the Orca right now might not be too happy with the way that it's working right now. But with this tech, even though it requires a lot of skill, in my opinion, it adds a lot of flavor into the gameplay, especially for Horn of the Orca users. And Yao isn't really affected because she's still going to be dealing more DPS overall regardless. So I don't think it's a good, I don't think it's a bad idea to keep in. That's all I have to say. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. For those that have um, Horn of the Orca, hopefully this video will be nice to you. Um, please, 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 Snowbreak Containment Zone, don't remove it. But if you do, I'm not going to be too mad because it makes sense for you to remove it. But all in all, I believe it's a tech, skill-based, uh, skill-based thing that you need to do. It's not easy to uh, replicate. Um, very inconsistent if you're not uh, used to like um, t uh, to used to doing timing and so on and so forth. Of course, with practice, it'll get easier. But overall, when it comes to uh, fast-paced battles with huge number of enemies, it's not going to be a good idea to do this kind of strat. So it's still situational, even though it's very strong. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. If you've got any more questions in regards to um, my Horn of the Orca sniper tech. Do let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you think it's a bad thing, again, do let me know down in the comments. I'll be sure to respond. It's been your boy Nitro Storm. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next stream or video. Oh wait, okay. Uh, I guess another video in the future. I am planning on doing a Wild Hunt Life as a deep dive. But yeah. That's pretty much it for this video. Peace.